In this video, we're going to take a look at the sweep with a guide surface option available to us inside the part modeling environment for Inventor. So here I have the sweep guide surface IPT from our working files directory. And what we're going to do here is examine a traditional sweep with a normal path and then what happens when the path isn't quite so normal. So here I have a sweep command. I'll start and I have a path and profile already. So the path actually goes down through this piece and the profile is this oblong shape here and I'll do that as a cut to remove the material and everything looks pretty good you know as I look at this it's nice and uniform straight down through here exactly what you would expect so I'll choose OK and there we see the nice cutout now what if it's not so nice so let's go back here I'm going to turn off the visibility of this sketch one and I'm going to turn on this extrusion here this is an extruded surface and I want to create a path that intersects this surface with the face of this part so I'm going to start a new 3D sketch and begin my intersection curve command so I'll grab this surface make sure you get the whole thing not just a piece of it and then also this face of the part I'll choose OK and it'll create that for me I'm going to turn off the visibility of the surface now because I no longer need it there. I'll just examine what we have here. Here we have a path that's going to go down the red piece here as well, but when it gets down here, it's going to kink over and go to the side. So when I start my normal sweep command, after I finish out of the 3D sketch, we'll see what that looks like. Now, I'm going to leave it green here as a join, just so we can see the difference of what's really going on. As it comes down through here and it banks over to the right, you can see what's happening with the shape. It's getting a little twisted. It doesn't know how to control itself as it goes over here. So that's where a guide surface comes in. If I go up here and choose a path and guide surface, and then choose this surface here, the path will try to remain normal to that as it goes through there. This will be a cut, so I'll change it to that option. Now, before I choose OK, I don't see a preview, and generally that's a bad sign. So I'm going to say OK to this, and sure enough, I have an error. Now the error shows up, says, the sweep has a path which is not tangent continuous. Try with different inputs. So I'm going to choose edit here and actually cancel out of the command. And the problem I have with this is that when I built this original spline used to create that surface, I didn't have a tangency between a couple of the parts of that spline, as well as a arc or a line, perhaps anything really there, I had to be tangent continuous. So I'm going to go over to my surface one here and double click on sketch five to activate it. I'm just going to take a look at my constraints. Sure enough, I have a tangent here, a tangent here, but no tangent up here. So I'm going to go ahead and add a tangent constraint to that. Now I didn't fully constrain it. Obviously, if I was very methodical about what I was trying to do here, I would fully constrain that before I moved on. For now, I'll just finish the sketch and it shifts that just a little bit for me. Let's try that sweep again. Path and profile. This will be a guide surface. I'm seeing the preview now. That's very good. And again, this is a cut, so I'm going to remove that material. You can see down here, it's staying much more uniform to that guide surface as I would expect it to. So I'll choose OK, and there's the nice sweep with guide surface. 